Hi guys, Dr. Steen here. I am a surgical oncologist in California. I graduated from the University of Colorado School of Medicine. I did general surgery training at Baylor University Medical Center, and I did a surgical oncology fellowship at the John Wayne Cancer Institute. The John Wayne Cancer Institute is very famous as developing the sentinel lymph node biopsy for melanoma. Today we are talking about the sentinel lymph node biopsy for melanoma, a topic I hold dear to my heart. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for joining me. Today we will be talking about the sentinel lymph node biopsy for melanoma skin cancer. Melanoma is a dangerous form of skin cancer and we want to know if it has spread to lymph nodes as this is usually the first place it can spread in the body. The sentinel lymph node biopsy is a way for us to check the lymph nodes for cancer cells. Only certain lymph nodes are connected to the area of the skin that is growing the melanoma cancer. So these are the lymph nodes we want to find and these are what are called sentinel lymph nodes. The technique is as follows. A day prior to surgery or several hours before surgery, we inject a radioactive dye into the skin around the melanoma. That dye travels through the lymphatic channels and gets trapped in the first lymph node it encounters. The radioactive dye remains stuck in the lymph node until we do surgery. The radiologist can take a picture with a special camera that can detect the radioactive signal and they will mark the area of the body that contains the lymph node with the radioactive dye. We can use a Geiger counter in the operating room that actually allows us to detect the radioactive material during the surgery. We also inject a blue dye into the skin that travels to the same lymph node as the radioactive dye and allows us to identify the sentinel lymph node visually as it is stained blue. For example, there are about 20 lymph nodes in the armpit. We only want to remove the one lymph node that is connected to the area of the skin with the melanoma, and that will be the lymph node marked with the radioactive and blue dye. This is the sentinel lymph node. Once a sentinel lymph node is identified, the entire lymph node is removed. Sometimes we remove several lymph nodes if they are all marked with the dye. A lymph node is about the size of a jelly bean. After it is removed, a pathology doctor then cuts the lymph node into thin slices and can tell us if there is any spread of melanoma to the sentinel lymph node. This is a very accurate way of finding even a very small area of melanoma within the lymph node. The pathologist uses not only regular stains to see the melanoma cancer cells under the microscope, but they also use special melanoma-specific stains called immunostains, which can allow them to see even just a few melanoma cells hiding within the lymph node. Melanoma of the hand or the arm will almost always drain to lymph nodes in the armpit. Melanoma of the foot or the leg will almost always drain to lymph nodes in the groin. When we remove the lymph node in the groin, there is a one inch cut over the lymph node. If it is a left leg melanoma, then the left groin will contain the sentinel lymph node. Where it gets tricky is on the torso. If you have a melanoma on your chest or abdomen or back, these can drain into multiple areas. Say you have a melanoma on your right chest. It can drain to a sentinel lymph node in the right armpit, or to one in the right groin, or it could even drain all the way over to the opposite side, say to the opposite groin. So the pictures that the radiologist takes, called lymphocentigraphy, are very important because they can tell us which of these locations the melanoma is draining to, and where to remove the sentinel lymph node. The upper back can actually drain up into lymph nodes above the collarbone or even into the lower neck. So there is a lot of variable drainage to lymph nodes in the torso area. The other area that can be tricky is melanoma of the head and the neck area. If you have a melanoma on the scalp or the face, these melanomas can drain cancer cells to lymph nodes in the salivary gland in the cheek called the parotid gland or to very small lymph nodes in the neck. So that is a brief overview of the sentinel lymph node technique for melanoma skin cancer. I hope that helped. Don't forget to subscribe below and check out some of my other videos, such as how we remove the actual melanoma from the skin with surgery. Take care.